or what got me into it. But anyway, I right, uh, right. the catalyst though to finally give it a try was taking a okay. an acting class in New York with okay. um all comedians. It was an a Meisner acting class, but everyone in sure. the class either did stand up or improv. And okay. Every day after, and we had a really great chemistry in this class with a small group of people. Sure. We all, we all got along really well. It was just like one of those like fortuitous things where it's like we just all clicked. And okay. so we would hang out after class and they, and, you know, at least one, if not like half the class is always going to a show after or going to a mic okay. or, and they were always talking about it. And okay. one of the kids actually, one of the people, one of my friends in the class ran an open mic and okay. I got to get to that. You know, I would like hype myself up and then not go. Yeah. And then yeah. Um, finally, and I don't even know who I went with. I think I might have even gone alone like a weirdo. But I went okay. um, to UCB and um, okay. which is like their version of Second City. Right. And, um, went to UCB, which I think they're right. they closed now. I don't know. <laughs> and I went to their, to their open mic. And so it was... Right. Um, so funny because it was in the lobby of UCB, which is weird. I don't know. Okay. Looking back on it, who knows? And right. a, show had, a show, like an improv show, had just let out. So the whole audience flooded the lobby. And oh, wow. They were like, oh, there's an open mic happening. And someone was like, yeah. They're like, okay. So, yeah. like, the room, all, that whole audience stayed and the room was packed. So, it yeah. wasn't just like <laughs> other comedians. It was like an, an automatic, like, show somehow, like, off the cuff. Right. Like, so I remember, um, I remember what I was wearing. I remember, you know, I kind of remember what I said. <laughs> and because I, I think the host made fun of my sweater. And it was, I don't know. <laughs> of time, but, did. And then I made fun of it. Right. And I remember being right. so nervous that like, I don't, I went into auto, right. like, complete autopilot. I was stone sober, but blacked out. So okay. I was just, just so nervous. And I got it out. I got the line, you know, I got my set out and I probably only did three okay. or four minutes. Not e I, I don't know. I probably only did two, but, okay. um, and I was like, Oh, wow. okay. I didn't get it now. But that was, right. <laughs> that, was so long ago. that was 2013. And then I did another open okay. mic and it went, uh, it was horrible. I mean, like the host laughed, okay. it was the friend from the class and he laughed, I think out of pity and obligation. It was just so bad. And right, right. <laughs> you know, I like I couldn't. I wasn't. I don't even know if English came out. I was so like it was just. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I, wow. was, I I left New York and moved back home to Michigan, and I didn't do stand up for uh over a year. Like I didn't like okay. get out, I didn't get out of stage. I didn't do my. I went. I was living at right. home. I got really sick, and then I moved back here to okay. Chicago, and I was like getting my footing, living back here again. And okay. I remember in 15, I'm like, I got to do that again. I got to try that again. And really, right. the was like, I was going on all these blind auditions for different um, theater companies and like different random plays. And okay. like, I wasn't getting callbacks. I wasn't getting cast, obviously. Like, I just wasn't right. getting anything. And I was sick of like having to go through that kind of bureaucracy and red tape and that, that auditioning process. Yeah. Like, I just want to write and get on stage. So yeah, yeah, exactly. I know. And what better city to come to, right? To, than Chicago to start yeah, it up again man. and do comedy and it, yeah, um, it, it definitely wasn't so, planned like that, but yeah, that's cool. Um, when you, um, so what year was that when you moved to Michigan from New, uh, New York? Well, I moved, I left New York and moved to Michigan, like, right before it turned, like, right at the end of 2013. Oh, okay. I lived, I lived okay. in Michigan for, like, right. four or five months, and then I moved back. Okay. I moved here to Chicago. I've been back and forth a lot over the last 15 right. years, but I moved right. to Chicago um, in March of 2014, and 14. then okay. Okay. I got back on stage January right. 15, but I really, like... Okay. I dipped like uh, the like tip of my nail of my toe in comedy. Like I, yeah. I, I did, yeah. I did a mic, and then I maybe did another one that year, and I maybe did like four, right. four that whole year, like mics. Right. Some people right. do that in a night, so I really wasn't like right. Exactly. Yeah. So it wasn't until yeah. sixteen that I can like okay. actually say I was actively pursuing okay. comedy. Okay. 
That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. And yeah, yeah. And then so when you were in New York, when you first did that mic, was that did you? Uh, did you prepare material for that or you just kind of went with the crowd? And oh, no, and I prepared for like two. Oh, OK, OK. Weeks. All right. All right. OK, cool, cool. And I to <laughs> practice good. to practice. I like recorded yeah. on my laptop and cool. I have that recording and it's mortifying. Like some of the stuff <laughs> that I say, like. Like just yeah. it was just not. I mean, it was not. I, I'm probably being hard too hard on it. It was like, yeah okay but <laughs> right right i hear you but then yeah. you know you hear that now at least you can tell how much progress you've made and yeah uh, no definitely. kind of is like a good feeling you know it's uh <laughs> oh yeah you know, see, good. I mean, I, <laughs> yeah i can see improvement between like a, a, over a six month span so right 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 exactly oh, that's seven awesome Seven years ago yeah it was a nightmare yeah <laughs> um so first of all congratulations heard you Got a new gig hey. today, uh, and uh, that's awesome. And uh, have you done a lot of um, copywriting? Because I know you've done a lot of that in the past, right? That's kind of something you've been well, into. Yeah. I mean, I have okay. a pretty extensive resume as far as that goes. Okay. Like, I'm older. You that. <laughs> Look, I've, been, I've been at this uh, right. whole career right. thing for a long time. Yeah. So I have a <laughs> freelance resume. And so okay. um, marginally uh, had like avoided setting up an OnlyFans account. I probably would just flop at that completely. But like yeah. I had such a hard year, like that sounds selfish. Everyone's had a very difficult year because of what we're going through. I personally yeah. was struggling before COVID-19. So okay. I okay. have been I have been looking for a solid opportunity and like a sustainable opportunity. Yeah. Not just like a one-off stupid or, or like a serving position, right. or like a little assignment here and there. I've been looking right. for two years. So I haven't okay. had like a okay. substantive, like viable yeah. position since the end of 2018. Okay. Okay. So this I hear you. Like I hear you. A huge, it's a huge relief. I, uh, yeah, it's, it's not easy. And I've been through that bumpy road. It's not, um, you know, trying to finally find something and yeah. trust me, everybody's going through that, especially now. Well, no, and like I, 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 that and, you know, like I said, it's, like I was, I was going yeah. through it before yeah. we all like. Right, right. I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah, then yeah. the pandemic, obviously for people yeah. like who only compounded our circumstances right. and right. To have something like this come along and for you know it's it's yeah. long term, um, it, it's with a really yeah. great agency and it's a huge cool. huge relief. I've I've heard of that agency. It's it's big. Um, yeah, I'm in marketing myself. Yeah, um, so I've uh, you know it's where always, are you working um, out? Uh, well, right now I am uh, Blue Cross uh, Blue Shield. Nice. Um, I was with them, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, but I'm a, um, so I do various uh, marketing projects. So right now I'm looking for a new one. And uh, I like to tell people I'm a stand up comedian. You know, that's it. That's, it. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Like, getting in this conversation, you're like, there's, we think we know a comedian. And, we, and like, you do like market yourself hard for stand up, which is amazing. I'm, I'm trying. And and trust me. I had no <laughs> idea. I'm, I'm here. There are people up here with like, thousands of you I, know i mean i know up there but <laughs> me, I know. Um, i'm just um, saying like i i didn't know yeah blue cross so yeah 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 so um it's um but i do um i do uh, a lot of uh marketing but like i said that project uh is done and now i'm looking for a new one so um, that's really? what i've been doing and yeah kind of yeah contracting they call it contracting Right. So, that, I mean, yeah. yeah it's either yeah. contract work, freelance work. So, okay. Right. Wow. I didn't. Yeah. 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 You, um, but uh, well, I know you but, don't. Want to uh, uh, sorry, uh, Lindsay. This is kind of uh, you're the guest here. Let's, <laughs> I know. I, just came I hate. I'm not good at answering questions. All right, That's why all I'm right. on this. Well, way. we'll talk later <laughs> off air. <laughs> This is what I love about you. You're hilarious. I mean, that that uh, that free kind of, you know, humor. I love it. And that's what, you know, I love about your comedy because you're just up there 
you throw it all out there and <laughs> it's just the audience connects with you and uh it's you draw humor from your life mm -hmm. and you know and uh it's it's amazing and that's what stand-up comedy is well, you're drawing from your life and i think you do it you do it wonderfully um i appreciate that so you you ran a lot of shows in the past mm -hmm. Um, I've been on a, I've been on some of them and you do it really well. Um, what, um, what do you like about producing shows? Like, what was your experience been with that? Well, um, I like being in control. I am, I'm very type A. Okay. So I like, I like running it. I like, um, okay. I like, I guess like the administrative boss aspect yeah. of it. Uh, yeah, 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 right, I, curating, right. I like curating the vibe. I like, you know, picking out the, the play, picking out the venue, you know, curating the lineup, obviously, and yeah. um, trying to make it, you know, as diverse and not just like diverse as far as like people's ethnicities and backgrounds, but also their type yeah. of comedy. Right. So, okay. Um, okay. you know, like their style, you know, not, not just like, gender and ethnicity and race right that's obviously those are obviously huge factors but also the person right. of stand-up so i really enjoy that process and like seeing who i'm going to put together and like how it's going to flow um right i you know as and as right. uh someone in marketing I, I like trying to come up with the name of the show and like how it's going to yeah. be pushed on social yeah. so i mean yeah. i've never had anything like really take off but i've definitely right. Gave, given it a shot and um, right. it, it is a process I like to be a part of and it's it's something I mean it's stressful but right. um, it's no it's, it's enjoyable it's really cool to like yeah. look at something or you know look at the photos afterward or like reflect on the show when it's all done when the stress is dissipated right. and everyone's had yeah. a good time and yeah. you know <laughs> It, it it worked out and people laughed and everyone had you know fun and and then it's even better if people the comedians can get paid you look back on it you're right. like okay cool a little <laughs> that was fun like yeah worth the stress definitely and uh you hit on a interesting point thinking about the name of the show which is so important and that is a very marketing uh standpoint and yeah. uh what that one uh you had joy divine was that would have you know you can pronounce it so that was not I love a good that. <laughs> I love that yeah. name. It was cool. It was a cool name. <laughs> well, that was the name of the bar. Yeah. So, and that really oh, no, the name of the bar, right? That's yeah. right. That's right. But yeah. I like inherited. The show was cool. yeah. I inherited that yeah. comedy night, so like, right? Else had been hosting a, a stand-up night there, and I sort of took over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's I worked awesome. there. Yeah, it was, and that was fun. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you look back. It was a cool joke. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You ran those shows really well. And uh, what do you like? Uh, do you think it made you, after that, a better comic? Because you were uh, looking at who to book and you were kind of seeing, you know, things from yeah, a different I mean, standpoint. It definitely, like, it, you know, definitely honed my hosting skills, which mm -hmm. is really difficult. And I don't right. think people know just how hard a host of a stand-up right. show, you know, how hard their job really is. So it right. definitely yeah. that aspect. And yeah, for sure, I get, you know, getting, a, you know, being able to see different performances, um, being exposed to different styles for sure. I mean, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, I'm, I'm all, I mean, I don't, that really didn't, that doesn't always happen necessarily with a show I'm producing, just like it, just being a part of this community in general, like going to mics and, and being on show yeah. and like, yeah. you know, and it's funny for a long time, people are like, well, who's your favorite comic? And I'm like, Robin Williams. <laughs> I'm like, so I was so bad at like being current. With, like, yeah, I'm better now. And I, I definitely like, I, I stay more on top of it now, yeah. but I was getting so much. You mean like as far as what comics you like or what you, know, just like, you were who's looking up at? Coming, who's up and coming and like, yeah. who's like it right okay. now. Stand up. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. But okay. I was just yeah. so focused on the local scene and like, right. Right. And between our local stand-up comedians, and I like like right. three names in Chicago who I love, you know. So yeah, um, yeah. So no, and I yeah, I, I learned definitely. I learned a lot from our our fellow our our peers and our fellow Chicago comedians. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it, like I said, this is the best place to do it, and you know, learn a lot from people. It's a great community. Yeah. 
to start, you know, and uh, people are very helpful. Um, when you started, <laughs> <laughs> when you started in New York and then you, you know, then you really started your journey when you came to Chicago. Mm -hmm. If you compare yourself from now to then, <clears throat> What, how would you think you've changed as a comic? And I don't mean like, I'm sure you've progressed a lot. I mean, like as far as your style, your voice, how you are on stage, you've found yeah. a niche now for yourself. How, how mean, did that uh, yeah. go? I'm still um, honing that for sure. Okay. But okay. I don't, you know, it's, it's like, I did, I, I'd like to say that I definitely got my start here as a New York is where I got like my first exposure to it. It's like New sure. York. New York is where I like actually finally gave it a shot, but right. I did not like, I didn't, I wasn't a part of that stand up community. I didn't, right. I didn't go to open mics every night. I went right. to, I hear you. you know? So, but yeah. no, I do say that that's the first time I ever did it because it is. But as far as how much I've changed or like the prog, I, I know that I'm definitely way more comfortable. I'm definitely yeah. not as robotic. I don't follow, I mean, right. I, I, know what I'm going to say. I have my set organized in my head, but I, yeah. I definitely deliver it much right. more um, confidently and not as it and not as definitely. like monologue. It's more of, you know, um, yeah. I, I know that like I've leaned more in to um, sure. a certain personality on stage and right. Right. It, it, it's definitely a certain persona. Um, right. Right. Of course. I've, I've started to man, you know, I've started <laughs> to um, create or whatever. Right. And, uh, you know, I, when I look back from at clips from like 2016 to now, um, I didn't have that voice. I, I you know, the okay. joke writing was okay. And yeah, my joke okay. writing, because yeah. now I know when I'm formulating something, when I, I get an yeah. idea, I write the idea down. And yeah. when I'm trying to formulate the tag, I can like, I have a better sensor and I have a better gauge internally now of like right. what'll work and what won't. Um, okay. Okay. Like I won't even try okay. it on stage if I know that it is just not the right. It's just not, you know, it's like you can yeah. think it's funny yeah. and try it and it bombs, but I, right. I, I've gotten better at avoiding, not that I don't bomb or haven't bombed. Right, right, right. I understand. I, yeah. I have a better gauge now of like, no, that's just yeah. not, and I also know now, like, what might be better is like a funny essay or a funny article as opposed to done on stage because I'm a writer. So like, oh. I'll get an idea and I'll like, I'll be like, oh, I can do a <clears throat> bit about that or I can do a bit about yeah. that. It's like, no, actually, that would probably work better yeah. as like a blog topic. Right. That and that is very important. What works on stage and what doesn't? Because not everything yeah. is going to be for the stage, you know. It's not. No. And it's like not everything's going to be funny on stage. It's, right. You know, there are some things that you could formulate into a bit, into a, something you're going to project to the audience. But, yeah, that's a that's a good point. Um, and I'm and glad you things, got that. And conversely, yeah. there are some things yeah. that I personally don't think is that funny. But yeah. the audience yeah. loves it. Like. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. I, like, yeah. yeah. And I noticed a huge change. I mean, like when I last, when I saw you at, um, what was that? The patio show we did, Ashbury. Ashbury. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. <laughs> that was probably like, like I mean, I've seen you many times, but it was like, I, I haven't seen you in a while mm -hmm. on stage. Right. And since the last time I've seen you and you were, I mean, like, I loved it then. Like, I loved your stories, right. like your, you know, the way we're. But this, when I just saw you last, mm -hmm. like, this is like, I mean, you've gotten to this high, this certain level now where it's like, I loved it. You had a very solid hi, set. Hi, bookers, <laughs> hi, producers. <laughs> you had a, yes, please, whoever's listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no seriously, again. it was very solid. And, and I, no, I noticed I you were more comfortable too. And you were, and um. And I know you had some uh, new stuff in there that, because I think uh, one or two I've heard before, but then you've got, some of them were new to me, but hilarious. It's good. Yeah. Hey, I, you know, I think I appreciate that. Uh, and I think yeah. the things you see or any, or I notice in myself 
when I reflect is, is definitely comes with practice. It's come with yeah. repetition practice and the comfort level definitely. being just it, honestly. And, and like, like I said, leaning more into the voice I have found um, right. and that persona, um, right. little, you know, it's a little brush, uh, you know, it's that my stage persona, whatever is, is yeah. Ah, she's, you know, she's aggressive. <laughs> she's like, you know, inappropriate and she's, you right, know, right, right. Crap, right. And, lot, exactly. and I, I all those exactly. things just not, yeah. they're, I, I've amplified yeah. them on stage, but right. it was so funny to get back on stage um, after not performing for three months. Yeah. So I, yeah. I know. Right. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I performed at um, gallery cabaret at the cupcake comedy showcase. Um, like middle of March, literally like okay. that Thursday before we went into lockdown. So oh, like, wow. And there was no, I mean, yeah. there were four p patrons. There was like no one there. It was just us comics really. And like, we still did it. And we, you know, it was the beginning. We didn't know as much as we know now, obviously. And like, anyway, so that was right. so I did that show and then didn't perform until almost the end of June at comedy bar right. so okay okay but when i got back on stage oh. after that hiatus that was you know the right. worst <laughs> hiatus um I, I know i was freaking out but then when i got on yeah. stage i don't know like it was as though i had done comedy every night that week like, you're it, right because I, I didn't notice any difference if like well, you know it's like you've just been doing it like every week well, and but I have um, it. And yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I don't yeah. Know you know, I mean, I, I have yeah. written some stuff and, you know, yeah. I'll, you know, it's whatever. But I, I'm not practicing nearly yeah. as much as we're able to in a regular time period or regular, you yeah. know, um, circumstance. So, but that right. back in June, that first time up after three months, I was, I was really proud right. of myself because I didn't think that yeah. it would go as well as I didn't know. I'm like, where did that come from? How was I even right. able to? still have like, <laughs> exactly and, like the the you know the cadence and the and the, confidence and the and the flow i don't know I, I don't know where it came from but right it was exciting uh, yeah and, yeah it's, adrenaline it's, 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 it's there again after a long time exactly the adrenaline you finally see people in front yeah. of you <laughs> you're doing stuff. speaking of that um uh, now yeah things are opening up a little bit but mm -hmm. um have you um What's your experience been with virtual shows? Have you done any? Uh, have you done any mics or shows? Ugh, I've done a couple. Of, <laughs> I did a couple Zoom shows. I, the first okay. one was like, brutal. I had like friends sign in, like they were like. Oh, <laughs> and so, yeah, now I can say so, whatever I want. <laughs> I, and I think I like I had like college friends sign in. Just I, I, I probably had like six people sign into this thing, and they because they were just so it, funny. No one could go anywhere. No one could do yeah. anything. This was April. That's, so. that's, it's the only time friends show up to shows, I think. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> uh, I mean, they might oh, you mean I don't have to leave? I don't have yeah. to get out? Okay. <laughs> like, oh, I, can't, I can't go anywhere. I'm bored. And like, and, then, and you're on the other side going, I really wish I was on a stage, right? Now. I'm on the other side saying, I'm sorry I had to log into this because it's ridiculous. <laughs> no. But then someone was like, ugh. And then uh, later, yeah. I think maybe in May, I did another one. Yeah. Which, I don't know. I, I've done I've done <laughs> two. Um, the first one was, ugh. The second one was a lot of fun, actually. Um, okay. And then I, I tried to do an open mic, and then it just didn't work out. And I, the, the virtual stand-up is just brutal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I love these people that have like turned the pandemic and the like our quarantine period into like their launch of comedy. Like Megan Stalter has blown up. Okay. Yeah. Is. Yeah. I, I've heard. I've heard the name. Well, she yeah. is just on a like yeah. steady incline of exposure, and you know, <laughs> she's she's really doing it from from yeah. lockdown perspective and just because she posts these hilarious videos on her Instagram and right. she's a huge following now there's like she's getting write-ups in you know major magazines and she's wow. just really, she really took advantage of this this time period which I think is incredible yeah. and reputable yeah. and admirable but you know and she's doing the videos and I see other comics really leaning in and like posting really funny yeah. videos um 
Allie right. Draper, another comedian who I think is really like taking advantage of this time and like turned her con her, turned her feed and her following and, and the content she posts into her comedic outlet. And okay. I, I, I think that's a different entity than like trying to do a Zoom stand up show. I think if you're creating okay. funny videos and posting them to your Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever right now, that's yeah, I think is really admirable. Um, and yeah, I yeah, that definitely. but um, definitely, definitely. yeah. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people now, and and thank God for the technology we have to be able to do a lot of the stuff. People um, kept saying to me, you know, like, you, know, and, you gotta start posting videos. And I, just yeah, yeah. it's all content, Lindsay, content. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm definitely <laughs> believe me, I, I'm in the same boat as you. I don't know how they do this. Like every day, it's like an edited, like 30 second video. Yeah, like, I'm I mean, like, it's pretty cool. I have two kids uh, that I like run after every day. Like I, I don't, I'm, I don't even, I try to tape them. I don't yeah, even know. Like, yeah, I'm trying to keep up taping crew. them. Um, what's yeah. that? I said, turn that yeah. into the camera crew. Yeah, yeah I know. The production, <laughs> the production value of these videos that some comedians are posting. It's amazing, like, isn't it? <laughs> into this, like, this is like really well it's done. Cool. Yeah. Lovely. I did a TikTok video and, um, I had I did it like right four months that. ago, and I have seven views in four months. I spent a lot of time on that, Lindsay. That, I put. Wait, I, have I have to follow you. I, know on that. I don't. I don't even. I'm surprised we're not banned from yet. I heard we're supposed to be banned from TikTok. Wait, <laughs> I. Have, you'll get another. <laughs> So I'll look at your TikTok. Don't worry. Yeah. So, I mean, like, my daughter knows more, more about TikTok, okay? Like, they, all these kids are using TikTok. Regu, I, okay, so that's how <laughs> I feel about fellow comics who are, in their, who are in their 20s because I'm in my yeah. late 30s now. So it's like yeah. – I just feel like the aunt on Instagram who's like, where am I like, I got that picture cute. And then they're like posting these like high production. I know. Right. They have like a thousand I, views and 500 <laughs> likes. And I'm like, I. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't I, know how I mean, they're doing that's it. What I feel. <laughs> that's what I do feel. I'm Some like, of the, yeah. The production value of some of these seven years is just about. really like. <laughs> it's not that I want to like know how to maybe like get a production together or like or <laughs> I don't know. Just, I just, just have an eight year old do it. They'll do it really well. <laughs> I'm <laughs> serious. Like you should see on. this. My my daughter sometimes like I don't. We tell her not to use it, but like there's so many <laughs> kids, man. They. They're like, watch this. And then they just create this cool thing in like right. five seconds. I'm like, I spent no. five hours on putting subtitles on. I didn't do anything. All I did was add subtitles. And it I need to learn how cool. to do that. You're going to have That's to show me how easy. to do that. So there's an app called InShot. In okay, shot. You're I I'll text it to you. It'll uh, probably take me cool. a whole day. Anybody who wants to edit videos. But it does the minimal, like, you can do a pretty cool stuff. You can't uh, splice. It's, I don't know. I don't even know how to splice, but whatever. Whatever that means. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you want to add a title? <laughs> you can do that. I I had this app called Vaunt, and I tried to do it, and I was yeah. like, no, never mind. I don't know how to do it. And then I took my patience. Right. But, like, I think I'm going to say, though, with, like, young, like people, because how old are you, 34? I uh, let's skip past that. All right. Well, you're are you in your thirties? <laughs> yeah, let's say I am. Okay. Yes, I'm thirty. I'm thirty. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Like, with these kids, with these kids. All right, fine, fine. I'm forty-one. I'm forty-one. Are you really? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I had no idea. Why? What? What? How old did you think I am? I thought you were thirty-four. I told you just wow, now. Oh, yeah. See, I, that's I, cool. We'll keep it at that. That's fine. <laughs> that's cool I, i'm right behind you i'm not much younger <laughs> than you and i'm like in their early mid-20s have that yeah. sort of, like irreverence about them they have that like yeah. they have that you know unadulterated uh, approach yeah. to things still like i remember when i was 23 24 i was you know a lunatic i mean i still am but like yeah. i just had a different um unbridled sort of confidence Right. That I could do whatever I wanted. And yeah. I feel like with people posting 
to like the propensity of posting on Instagram and like, just like the sort of shamelessness to it, which is, which can be great. Um, I think comes with that age group and I don't know, maybe I'm holding yeah. myself back and making excuses, but I'm just, well, yeah. I mean, but like there, are, I mean, like it, it definitely works. I mean, if you can do that, I mean, that will power to you. Like there are people who could post a lot of cool, really cool stuff, right? really cool content, or it's just live video, like videos of themselves just talking. And I know many comics who do that. Just like, hey, yeah. I'm just here. I'm taking a hike and whatever. And but they do it every day that people start noticing. Oh, this person's like posting a lot, you know. And then they start following, you know. They get them a, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm too, really impressed. So. I'm really impressed with people who but, can like yeah. foster a really yeah. huge following. I mean, that's that to me Definitely. is it's kind of. Definitely. I mean, yeah, it's lost on me. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you about your family and friends. Uh, about uh, what kind of support your friends have? Like, uh, do they come to your, sh have or have before all this, uh, they came to your shows or how was it? Well, that's funny <laughs> because I, in the beginning, like when I was first starting and get, just getting my footing and like, really, I didn't know anything about like, yeah, I really didn't know a lot about the Chicago community yet. I, you know, anyway, I would definitely strong arm my friends to come to my shows. I mean, some would be like, it would look, like a bachelorette party, like showed up to a stand up show. And uh, <laughs> I could have, I had, you know, I, um, I definitely had like friends consistently come and, and, yeah, uh, they were definitely very supportive the first couple of years. And, you know, okay. if I'm producing something and I'm like, hey, I need people coming to this, can you, like now I'm saying, like, or, you know, last year or whatever, like, hey, yeah, I'm, right, right, I right, need right, to come, right. come out, you know, but it, you know, it started becoming, like the the more I got into it and the more I improved and maybe the more I started to like do more, I sure. was I couldn't, you know, I wasn't as concerned and preoccupied with like getting my friends to the show because okay. I was just like the fact that I was right. on the show a at all, you know, was enough. And okay. like it's not that the, ex the like the I guess the newness of it faded and it wasn't like right, right. I, I didn't feel cons like I needed them as much. I didn't feel right. like in the beginning. I, I really like lean, you know, I, I, I relied on them in, a, in a way. Of course. For, yeah. You know, yeah. For yeah. Whatever reason, confidence, maybe, you know, you, support, obviously. Yeah. But you then, ever run bits by them? <laughs> no. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, I always well, wonder sometimes, about that. But, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. But then, the other thing is like, I started making more friends within the, the community and started making more fellow comic friends. So like, Sure. Oh, I'd be hanging out with my fellow comedian comedian friend yeah, as opposed to you know? so I, I think just after a couple of years, like that non-comic support definitely like died down a little bit. Um but right. like if I'm putting on a show, um I'll like, you know, ask like, hey, can you come to this? I'll comp it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. I need audience member, you know. So so yeah, when I like or say I say I finally yeah. get a headlining spot. I'll have my friends come out to that. Like, you know, if I do a half hour at storefront, I'll, I would have friends come out to that. Like now, it's right, like, right. It would have to be more of a milestone experience to get friends. To come. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand that. Um, sense? In the beginning, I was like, I I'm that. Stand up. <laughs> have to come. Yeah. Groundbreaking thing. Like, <laughs> You know. It was hilarious. I did this one show. It was on a random, like, it was just in the middle of the week and at a bar. And uh, I just tell my, I always tell my friends about every show, but sometimes I don't want them to come because it's really, you know, you know, I mean, every show is important, but yeah, like you said, there's some yeah. milestone shows that you want people to buy tickets and come to. Right. Or you can, whatever. But <laughs> one of my friends showed up. <laughs> And she was like seven months pregnant and she like Aww. walked from her apartment and it was like close to her place. And she's like, hey, I'll stop by. Like, it's just there. It's like, a, like, all right. <laughs> it's come. And she came and there was probably like, <laughs> like four other people like watching and then like the comics. And, oh, <laughs> and I know, I know. I'm just thinking, Oh my God, she must me, think I this is what every show is like. It was just a night where, Unfortunately, that night, not a lot of people were there. Usually there were a lot, but um, that night, 
it just it was yeah. just like you know oh and I, I'm like, I know that wow, you came. <laughs> yeah You're it's like- um but uh but every show every show is important every show is like your you know your 100 percent and um yeah uh <clears throat> so you had a uh web series that you wanted to do yes um mid mid to late yes um did that happen what's the what's going on with that well obviously it was put on hold um okay okay and you know now but right okay that's it's definitely back um okay way um i have i we are planning on shooting the the first episode um okay like the first week of october Okay. I have, I have it cast. Like I know who's gonna. Awesome. <laughs> before the pan- well, yeah. I mean, I'm just like no, people I know. I'm like, will you do this? Um, but right. I wanted to like hold auditions and like do a more professional sort of an audition process to cast. But because of what we're going through, I'm not gonna you know deal with that. And like, yeah, we've lost so much time from like right. money right. now. Um, it's been a right. year campaign for it, so that like. Now it's kind of like yeah. got to fast track it a bit. Um, sure. But uh, I definitely like for the first episode, we have the location. I have my fellow act, two fellow actors for the first. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, I sent them the sides the other night. So I'll rehearse with, hopefully, rehearse with them next week. And then. That's cool. Yeah. That is so, so cool. It, I'm it's glad. Back, back it's, in, it's, it's underway. That's awesome. That's so great. Thanks. If you need a token Indian guy, it can be a stereotypical thing too. I could be a convenience store or a cab driver. I'll do it. I'll, I'll be that Indian guy if you want. If you thank you for ta- thank just you. Throw, just throw myself out there. You can any seriously. You can be as stereotypical as you want. I okay. Just, I'll do it. I'll try to. Work <laughs> that's cool. Like, <laughs> but that's awesome that the Wait. series is. Uh, we'll see, is, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I'm- finally underway and it's good. Yeah, okay. we'll uh, definitely be sending in uh, good thoughts your way uh, you. for that. Uh, we'll check it out what's um is there a timeline for when you guys hope for like the first episode or do you guys well, think I that mean, far yet or at this you- point at this point we want to like at least get i would like to get all three because i only have three written right now to get going okay like to get the first three re- like shot and wrapped um sure by the end of october okay um, okay if not into November, but as it, once it's all shot, um, the editing process might take a few months. So Netflix, yeah, that's yeah. Right. So I mean, hopefully by spring, I have it up online and, and entered into festival okay. and stuff. Or that's awesome. And stuff. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm glad you're doing this. I think that's Thanks. amazing. This we'll is gonna we'll seriously uh, it's gonna put you on the mark. It's gonna put you out there. I hope it's good stuff. Uh, so regarding. I know I already asked you about virtual shows and all that and uh, this whole uh, pandemic and how's the, how's it been like overall, like regarding your stand up and you and just, I know you're, yeah. So have you started? So you, when do you start your new gig, by the way? So I start on Monday. Um, okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's remote That's, work, obviously. Cause don't, of course. Not- yeah. 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 But, which is such a bummer because yeah. when I've started new contracts yeah. and other agencies, it's so fun to like go and obviously exactly. like exactly yeah. Creative, yeah. Creative marketing or agencies have such cool work environments too. I yeah, love it. Exactly. I mean, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> really they're really uh, <laughs> fun. Yeah. Inspiring. Very creative. I know. I um yeah, definitely. And uh I hope one day we get to commute. <laughs> I know. I kind of want to go out <laughs> like, like I never thought. Of that. I want to like. I know, right? I want to the red line into the loop. Like I never thought I'd say that. Right. So, uh, yeah. regarding all your stand up and your journey into stand up, what would you say your research process was becoming a comic? What'd you do um, as far as like looking at other other comics or reading about it, watching documentaries? Blind. What was your? Uh, I went in <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't research. Okay. Just, okay. My, my research in my my tutorial was just writing things down and trying it at mics. I don't. I mean, it was very cool. like shocking. Okay. Like, right, right, right. I. Yeah. I don't know. I think. I think what helped a lot was that I'm a writer. So I. Yeah. 
That's right. That's got to help a lot because you are a writer yeah, already. So it, and were you writing before you started stand up? Oh yeah. I uh, put, yeah. Okay. Writing com okay. Not, not really writing. Not comedy, but I mean like whatever, I like you're writing. You've been writing a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wrote some comedic yeah. blogs when I lived in New York, but um, like a couple, like nothing major, but like, okay. I actually, no, I wrote, a, no, cause I was writing for, okay blog at the time. Anyway, I was writing comedic <laughs> content. Okay. Comedic okay. When I lived there again, not for anything major, but, um, right. I have been a writer. I have a degree in journalism okay. and I've been writing for over a decade. So that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, um, as far as like research, yeah, just watching other people. I mean, yeah, I was never a comic nerd. I wasn't like yeah. I wasn't listening to like records growing up. I watched stand up yeah. comedy, of course. Like I would watch HBO. <laughs> and, like, I, right, right. And, like right. of course, I've I've grown up. I grew up watching it, and like it's. But I was never yeah. never been like. A, I've never been a comedian dork. There are some, there are non comics I talk to, and they're telling me about people I've never heard of, and then I'm embarrassed. Oh, I mean, okay. it's like, okay. it, yeah, for me, it was just like getting up and doing it. I don't know, like, right? You mentioned Robin Williams. Is he one of your like inspirations? Does he? Uh, is yeah. he? I mean, his yeah. energy, I think, will never be matched. I mean, he yeah. his, his wit, yeah. his quickness, his. Yeah. Uh, energy and quickness unparalleled. Um, yeah. I don't know if I, I don't really try to mimic him. I don't, that's not right. my goal. It was get my, it. Yeah. His, yeah. his talent w inspired me for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He was always one of my favorite comedy icons. I mean, the guy was legendary. I'm He's, still preparing yeah. myself to watch his documentary, but um, it's on, um, HBO, but uh, I, I started watching it. But I'm like, I'm gonna watch this in pieces because yeah, I you know, know. it's uh, <laughs> I know, right? It's, I took that celebrity yeah. hard. Yeah, it that was probably one of the biggest. Yeah, that that hit hard. That for, hit hard. Uh, for, it hit yeah. hard. Um, but yeah, no, uh, that's cool. Any other comics who you looked at in um uh, in uh, you know stand up comedy or com comedy in general? Anybody? Uh, yeah. In I really love Cat Williams. I love Tom. Okay. Oh God, he's hilarious, isn't he? He's so and hilarious. Tom, oh gosh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 Tom <laughs> Segura. Tom Segura. Oh, Tom Segura. Sorry, yeah, I thought you meant Daniel Tom. Oh, Tom. oh da, yeah, uh, Tom Segura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joan Rivers to me is a legend. Um, I love watching her stand up. That's and who her. I see a lot, like comparable. If I had to compare, yeah. like I, I don't know, he was, yeah. he's always yeah. quick witted. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I loved about her. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'd say like, yeah. newer one. I, so I mentioned like you know Joan Rivers and Robin Williams and Cat Williams and uh, yeah. definitely Chris Rock, Ellen DeGeneres. I used to love Ellen DeGeneres' stand ups. Um, yeah, even the latest one that she put out. I really and I really love uh, Hannah Gatsby. I think. She's oh okay, beautiful. okay, okay. Smart. Um, so yeah. in Tom Segura, like I said, he's more like more like current. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rory Scovel is hysterically funny. Um, I recently oh no, oh my god, Zach Galifianakis. I've been watching his Oh my god, he <laughs> is like he's amazing, isn't he? <laughs> he can handle him. And like uh um, yeah, <laughs> I just imagine his that what's that show that he had in between two ferns. Yeah, he's <laughs> insane. He's insane. <laughs> just laugh. By the way, I got to tell you, you have a viewer from India. Just yeah. one. Yeah, one. But that's international. We My have cousin one, in India. Is, one viewer yeah. right now. Yeah. And, no, no. You have one viewer from India. <laughs> How got, many well, right now we have one. Now two. I don't know. I don't even look at that number. But my oh. cousin in India is watching. Hi, right now, hi, so. hi cousin. <laughs> hey. Yeah, she's actually uh, very uh, fond of the series. She's seen it uh, oh, a couple of times, but so she's on right cute. now. But, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let's see. I wanted to talk to you about your goals in comedy. 
Um, obviously, you have the big goal right now to do the web series yeah. that you're doing right now. Yes. Um, is that your biggest goal right now? Or do you um, see any, what do you see cool. after that? Yeah. Like, I'm still, okay, here's the thing. Right? <laughs> I did not miss the anxiety that comes with like, like trying to get booked and yeah. submitting. And I mean, I definitely liked the break from that while we were in yeah. quarantine and like, uh, you know. Okay. Okay. Was, like not have that, that competitive and it's, it's, it's all in your head. Yeah. And I did start to learn more right before, you know, before the lockdown and like during. Yeah. I was getting better at not like internalizing what others were doing or comparing too much and like really just like focusing on my process and my progress and my writing and my own, you know, which is like putting the blinders on and not like getting yeah. caught up with um who's doing what and why am I why am I not like I you right, know right. but now that's creeping in again because there are these like outdoor shows and the clubs are yeah. open again and so it's like right. that anxiety is like resurfacing of like when am I gonna do that room? Can I do like why right. you know? so I hear you. <laughs> you know, like, I'm gonna yeah. like, tamper that and 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 you know like just Stay focused okay. on my own projects, my own writing, my own material, my own pro progress. Um, right. Because it can be really easy to compare and compete. And right, right. I mean, I'll always I celebrate you. others. You know, I want to celebrate others' accomplishments. But then there's always that little voice of like, well, when do I get to do that? So. <laughs> right. No, I hear you. I think uh, a lot of people. We all go through that. We all uh, want to be, you know, where yeah. we want to be, our goals. Um, so I've always goal, kept these. Yeah. yeah. My goal. But, is, um, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. The goal is to get the web series series completed before winter. Sure. Um, and or before like the harsh part of winter. <laughs> and yeah. uh, the other goal right now in comedy is to, uh, you know, get up at Zany's. Or sorry, Latin. my son just walked in. Uh, it's okay. But yeah. Here, uh, you can say hi to him really quick here. Just hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> What's his name again? His name is Zion. <laughs> how old is he? Uh, he's three. Oh, well, three and a half, actually. So cute. <laughs> I'll be right there. Uh, there's a little... Uh, um, now you know my real life outside of this. That's awesome. <laughs> Like this is reality you. TV. That's great. Um, Seriously. So, um, okay, we're going to go into, uh, hang on one second. I'm going to close this door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to go into our final segment. It's called mm -hmm. Ragu's Hot Sauce Seat. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a very cheesy name. These are carefully ran selected random questions. Okay. If that makes sense. <laughs> um, and some of these questions were asked by Google and Facebook and Amazon and job interviews. I'm not going to tell you which one. Some okay. of them I made up. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. All right. Number one, you're a new addition to a crayon box. What color are you and why? You're a crayon. What color? Do I have to make up the name? No, oh, well, you can. I've never, nobody's ever done I that mean, before. But I mean blood orange. Blood orange. That's awesome. It's like that burnt. Uh, yeah. Remember those names of those crayons? There was yeah. a burnt umber, burnt sienna. Or I'd be like burnt sage. Yeah. Burnt. It's only burnt sage. Yeah. <laughs> There's like five whites. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> name, uh, name something you can do with a pencil other than write with it. Chew on it? I don't know. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. You definitely chew on it. I've gotten, now uh, you can stab somebody. Uh, you can put your hair up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've heard many things with that one. Um, I didn't use it as, I didn't make it functional. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, they, you no. it. that works. You know, people used to chew on it like it was corn and then yeah. they, it would create that texture. Yeah, uh, it's like a nervous thing. And like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, favorite 90s jam? 
your go to 90s music? Go to? I don't know. If somebody said, What's your favorite 90s jam? Quick. Something by Nuke is on the block. All right. That works. Isn't that 80s? Or was no. that 90s? How dare you? 80s. No, uh, oh, wait, it's 80s, 80s, oh, 90s? 90s. They were early 90s. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Or no, I'll wait. Let Can I retract? I'll let that. No, sorry. You're right. done. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> uh, torn. No, go uh, ahead. Torn. I forget the artist, but the song's torn. called. Torn. Oh, Torn. Uh, was that I'm Natalie and Brulia? I can't sing. Yeah, that's Natalie and Brulia. Is it? Yeah, my life is torn. Yeah, yeah. Na, 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 na. Okay. I'm yeah. not very good at even humming. So <laughs> if you uh if you have the opportunity to have dinner with a famous comedian to ask whatever you want, who would it be? Melissa McCarthy. Oh, uh, that's awesome. I think she'd be a lot of fun. She's the best. Yeah, you guys have uh the you know. I love her. Kind of like cool, cool personnel. What's that? I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you for saying that. But she doesn't do stand up. She's just yeah. Hysterically- yeah. No. 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 She's hilarious. She's so funny. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh yeah. If there was a movie made about you, who would you want playing you? Oh God. Ah, uh, who would I want? <laughs> who do you think? Uh, um. Pamela Adlon. Jaw movie. Who? Pamela, Pamela Adlon, only because people say I, I remind them of her all the time. Pamela Adlon. Okay. I got to Google her. I'm not. I'm sure she's Maybe really she's, she's older than me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but. Um, what Netflix series are you watching currently right now? I'm not. I just finished Selling Sunset. You're not watching Netflix? I just finished. Oh, you mean oh, you're just you're watching? Wait, what are you finishing? No, I just finished Selling Sunset. Selling Sunset, like yeah, it's a se- it's, it's a show. It's a reality show. It's a reality show about real estate. It's a real oh, Selling Sunset, like Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. Oh, uh, like the sh- the the places on there, like the yeah. apartments or whatever. It's, oh, that's cool. It's a ridiculous show. You, it's, it's reality. You, it's like it's there like are, Real Housewives, but in real estate. Oh man, do you watch Real Housewives? Not religiously. I've Not seen religiously. The show. Okay. If I had to hilarious. Be, oh, they're ridiculous. <laughs> I like Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah, I like. Beverly That's Hills. what yeah. we just saw. I just saw that with my wife. Really? Yeah, we just got caught up on the entire last. I, right <laughs> I love it's, that you uh, watch it with your wife. Oh man, are you kidding me? I watched, uh, and I'm not afraid to say this. Facebook, I know I'm live on Facebook. Yeah. I've watched Orange County, New Jersey. Yeah, I didn't think I could get into Beverly Hills, but I did. And and now we're watching Atlanta a little bit. <laughs> oh, you are. The only one I never saw was DC and New York, and New York a little bit. But anyways, enough about me and. Wow, I've never seen half of those. The Real Housewives. Oh yeah, I've seen every episode of Sex in the City. I mean, these shows are hilarious. Watching. Hey, I will rewatch. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I will rewatch yeah. that entire series for the rest it, of my life. It's a really well written show. It's really good. <laughs> It's I, very good. That's so funny you said, brought that up because I was just watching it before we started this. Yeah. And watched, oh, like, okay. I, okay. I was having a lot. Yeah. I'm in my bedroom in bed, and I, I was having yeah. a long day, which is my code for severely hungover. And yeah. I just, I, I'll take these days where I just like order food, <laughs> watch whatever, and really stay yeah. in bed. I'm surprised I don't have a bed sore. I've been in this bed all day. And, and I, can't, <laughs> I can't do this anymore and, next, starting next week because of my job. Definitely. And a lot of guys don't want to watch that, but I recommend it. Okay. I love that about Men you. Men have to watch that show. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, like, I've seen it so much now, like some of like the allure yeah. fade, but it's yeah. what, what I, some of the, some, something that I love uh, like the most about that show. I couldn't get that out. What I, one of the things I love most about the show <laughs> is like seeing them on their landlines and like, Oh yeah. Right. They have, they, 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 they hail taxis yeah. 
they have right, right. Like, you can go online. <laughs> they're yeah. like not like going on the internet was new then. Like yeah. There's the iPhone was introduced on, like, you could see, remember, she was like, I don't know what to do. Oh, in the movie. In, <laughs> in the movie. You know, that's in the movie. Um, yeah. Yeah, in the movie. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, okay, uh, think about this. Uh, you're trapped on a raft uh, with a nun, an old man, and a baby. Uh, there's only room for three of you. You must decide who you're going to throw off the raft. So either the nun, the old man, or the baby, one of them has to go. The old Forget man. about them. Like, seriously. The old man? Mm -hmm. Really? Why? The old man. Because he's lived his life. The nun is religious, and I don't need any sort of, like, karma. And I was raised Catholic, so, like, sometimes my guilt comes back. Um, but you're going to leave her on the raft then? Like, she's just going to, like... Yeah, well, try to talk to you about religion and stuff. That's fine. I can that's tune, her, tune her out. I'll tune her out. And the baby, <laughs> the baby has a new life. So the old man. Some people have thrown the baby off. Um, some people the nun because they didn't want to get converted or whatever. And I'm not, I'm not worried about that. The old man was the probably the most popular answer because he's lived a long life. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want anyone to hurt her, but if I had to choose. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't throw the baby off. It would have to be between the nun and the old man, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd probably throw both of them off. Forget this question. Like, seriously. Right. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right. What set of items would you buy at a store, let's say a convenience store, um, to make the cashier really uncomfortable? <laughs> I don't think Google or anybody ever asked that question. I'm not Excellent. sure. Like, uh, probably a, a laxative. I think they did. A laxative. laxative. And what else? Hemorrhoid cream. Wow. And Vagisil. Okay. Uh, next question. <laughs> See, it works. <laughs> Those are all very, for very specific, like, well, the two lower people. body region. If you need <laughs> It's all your undercarriage <laughs> treatment, yeah. <laughs> it's in all of them together, and then uh, some firecrackers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a cigar. A okay. Burritos. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right. <laughs> all right, last question. Um, <laughs> and you won't offend me in any way. Uh, do you prefer ragu or prego? <laughs> uh, I think Facebook asked this question. I don't know. Um. <laughs> God. Job interview. <laughs> either, I don't like either of those. Either, okay. If I had, all to right, do, that's ragu. You got it. Okay. No, actually, well, I appreciate it, but no. what prego? Yeah, I don't prefer either. I they're both. I like the other guys. sauces that are out there. Yeah. There's some good ones. Bertoli, I think, is a like, good one. Brit, Brit, yeah, Brit. I don't know. They're, they have all these Italian names. Um. Yeah. Francesco Rinaldi. Was yeah. Amazing. I saw one sauce that sounded like my last name. So now I'm really getting irritated with these sauces. I have it. not even Italian. <laughs> no, it's called Arabataya or something. I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I have enough talking. grief with my first name. Guys, like, you can't do this. And <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, they're going to start giving you royalties. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Are paying me. I know. What do you mean there's no H? Uh, <laughs> that's a dispute I got to go through. That's that's so but they pronounce it ragu, so I should get royalties. Yeah. You know? What do you somebody's food here. I think so. <laughs> you know? What's, uh, you have any shows coming up? No. Anything on the horizon? Not yet? No, not soon? yet. I hope to get up at uh, Comedy Bar and register for their mic because their open mic is actually run like a show and they sell tickets for Where it. Comedy Bar? Comedy Bar. Comedy oh, Bar. Yeah, the patio. Like they, yeah. they're doing it on a patio now, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It's been fun. It's sign up at like midnight or something. Yeah. Like, it's. For the, yeah. They changed that because like before it was like. They did? Yeah, well, no, it's now you sign up at midnight. Before though, it was like you, like you sign up and then they picked you. Okay. 
But now I think it's just like a race to get to the sign up in time. So. Okay. All right. So well, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I haven't, uh, I've done their tomato throw show. I haven't done their mic yet, which I want to do. So I'm try definitely going to up. try to sign up. It it's run like an actual show. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's not. That's it's what not I heard. <laughs> yeah. What? Definitely. Yeah. Uh, hey, Lindsay, thank you so much for being on thank my show. You. This was fun. This, it was so good to talk to you. A lot of fun. Yeah, this is great. I learned a lot of new things and uh, good luck to you with the web series. Hey, Let me know. I'll Cab driver, it. whatever. Just, it's okay. I can do it. Okay. I can do it. <laughs> I'm right. a 7-Eleven cashier. Sounds okay? good. All right. Awesome. I'm there. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Hey, have fun when you do it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. Bye. Hi, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And that was Lindsay Shaw, you guys. And this has been Talking Funny. Tune in on Tuesday. My guest is Caitlin Palufo. Uh, she's a New York comic. You guys are going to love her. Um, so that's Tuesday. It's going to be at 6 p.m. Central Time. I'll be putting out posts for that. So this was Talking Funny, and I'm Raghu Adibala. Take care, guys.